Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scale Knowles and today we have another kit review um, this one's going to be on the 135 scale uh, flatbed for tanks uh, for the railway diorama I'm in the process of doing so it is a German 80 tonne flatbed it's made by T-Models I've never heard of this company before so I managed to find these uh, flatbeds Trumpeter do a flatbed do a flatbed by um, Dragon I believe do a flatbed but I've gone for this one because this is was a reasonable price and it was easier to pick up it was at my local shop which I get my stuff from so let's take a look at we'll get inside of these I managed to get two of these so um, I can do two vehicles on my dio like being transported so um, here's some of the stuff on the side QR code is for the Facebook pages and stuff you get photo etch you do hear the calling out for they get this metal sorry not metal uh, you get this stick on wooden vinyl deck thing if you don't want to paint it which I'll show you in, in the box uh, there's obviously um, some different variants they've got I uh, didn't realize that but so the kit number for this one would be TK3501 obviously it's in German grey Pretty standard for the flatbed, the decals for it, and it's loaded with plastic. So, what's inside the box? Like I say, it's loaded with plastic. You've got your worksheet, we've got tracks, stuff with plastic. Here's the flatbed trailer and frames. Here's a stick on vinyl uh, type wood deck. So if you can't paint it very well, you can always go for this option. It does look pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. And you get your photo etch and decal. So we'll take a closer look at this now. So straight off the bat we're going to go with the instructions a little bit of history on the front about the uh, flatbed in english and probably uh, japan or something typical uh, instructions for most manufacturers these days they give you a layout of sprues and stuff within the kit easy way of checking to make sure everything's there not sure why they have these symbols that's the american um, symbol for general is it is that a general marking i'm not sure so you've got warnings open holes drill holes not to glue that sort of thing so your first section is half of the uh bogey rail touching your brake assembly touching the half together with some support brackets and then you've got your leaf spring assembly which i believe is molded as one large piece and you've got to attach those plugs a wheel assembly is the axle and two wheels so there's three axles at one end of the trailer our flatbed and there's another set at the other end so <clears throat> it's going to be six wheels in total and two bogey systems and then the flatbed in the middle so once you've done your wheels you can sandwich that all together and then you've got small detail parts on the other side and then you have the actual upper structural part which is all molded as one piece i believe which is the pivot point in the middle of the bogey for when it goes around corners so even though it only says one assembly you do have to build two of these turn your attention to the flatbed itself you have these photo etch parts i believe we will track that support brackets which looks like this when it's built you've got your flatbed itself it's got to be put together and then once you've built this this goes in the middle and you have the two ends which is for the bogey assembly to get attached to so you have all these attachment points underneath so hopefully it all lines up nicely once it's done it will look like that then you have these end pieces to be built up and they're angled slightly i don't know why again i believe these are photo etch parts <clears throat> um, you do have another option here it looks like it's slightly different underlay 
for structural parts so you maybe get an option by looks of things different way of doing it these are the side rails two halves and front and rear bumper parts don't forget to drill out the holes um, but it doesn't actually say what size holes and then so the upper deck and the side rail gets put together and should attach all to your bogey assembly and that's pretty much it for the main structural parts and then it's just a case of putting all the small detail parts on and your brake lines, your tow hooks, your bump stops, that kind of thing um, here you've got different ways of setting it up so I know on this kit I have seen it in the past because I have checked out someone else's video because I just want to look at something they managed to glue only one half and it allowed the uh, attachment point to move so I'll be doing that and then it's optional you don't have to put this front rail on um, and then obviously once you've done it it's painting the upper deck or you can use the vinyl deck like I mentioned before which is this and this is what the vinyl deck looks like it does look good but it just looks too too new if you know what I mean if you want to make a brand new flatbed that probably be alright but this looks too too clean so I don't know <clears throat> once you've done that again these long pieces are optional for whatever vehicle or equipment is being transported these are goes in the middle and when the tank sits on it they sit right up against the tracks and it helps with alignment and basically for tying it down they are asking for you to put your bump stops on them down here again you've got another layout of your brake cables and stuff again these upper side rails are optional you don't have to have these on and I have seen these flatbeds being used in the past with just being a normal flatbed without these centre pieces but they've had to use these side rails and they've used it as a logging trailer so you could do that as well you don't have to transport vehicles on this you could use it as a logging trailer um, these side rails if they're not being used they get stored at the side of the uh, trailer so you just glue them to the side if they're not going to be used which is a nice touch because that's where they get stored uh, track assembly is pretty simple um, you get your lower section yeah so your lower section where the sleepers are is basically molded as one part with the attachment points in underneath like trumpeter and then you slide your rail just straight across it this is if you're having the two halves because there's two sections to have it straight but they've got these notches cut out so you can make the track on a, on a curve if you wish to do so I won't be using this track hopefully this flatbed I'm going to have to test hopefully the uh, spacing between the wheels is going to fit the trumpeter everything else I've tested so far up to this point is fitted together so hopefully this is going to fit uh, colour callouts now as I say the lower side they're calling out for it to be uh, black but it's actually German grey um, and then the upper deck they're just calling out for light, light wood colour but again you're gonna weather it and beat it up and do that kind of thing to it and that's it for the instructions they are having a tiger on there um, I probably would do a tiger possibly on one of mine and something else and then of the chain points are on the end here and I've seen chain get go from one end and to the other so it crosses on the front and then the same on the rear cross chain we'll look at the photo etch and decals quickly while I have them here they're in the ziplock bag which is a nice touch their photo etch is quite thin it has plastic tape stuck to it so you're gonna to have to peel one side off I do recommend for easy so parts don't get bent very well or easy to cut off is to leave one side of the tape on so when you cut it it doesn't move out of place and then you just carefully peel it out so 
there's part of the furrow etch that looks pretty damn good it's all these structural support arms and stuff looks pretty good to me and then I don't know how well you can see these because they're just plain white markings um, I try and leave a picture up of uh, CAD drawings of the uh, markings because that gives you a rough idea I see on camera I can't see these very well and they're just about visible even me looking at them because they're in white and they give you this stupid blue background which doesn't show up very well but they do look good uh, the camera film is quite large on some of them but they should work, should work fine there's the parts come in these are not sealable bags I'm not worried about if the bag get that ripped because I'm going to reuse them one thing I have noticed straight off the bat I like this locking system they've got for their parts so sprues don't get moved around I've noticed it, they've done it with this one as well so, because they're all the same, same, same sprues, they don't get, they don't get shifted. That's a nice design to keep everything locked into place. I wish more manufacturers would do something similar to that. So these are two sprues of A. So we're going to move one of these to one side. So we have our upper wooden deck. The texture on that is absolutely superb. There's not a single jet to pin in that. Of the wood grain it does look a little bit generic on most of them but once you've weathered it and beat it up and you've got a vehicle on it or equipment you're not really going to pay attention to <coughs> the wood grain effect so much so that is nicely done so there's two of those so you can imagine once this is attached to this it's going to be a quite a long large flatbed We have grab handles, these are bump stops, this is the front bumper, this is the main structural part for your bogey, and this is the lower part, so this centre piece will go through here. So the detail on these parts, the plastic is quite, not thick, but it's, it is nice and crisp and clean, you can't see any flash. There is the attachment point, this one is moulded as one piece if you want it uh, not usable. If you have a usable one, there is on a, on, a, on another sprue somewhere, I believe, there's separate parts so you can make it move, movable. But again, the hosing looks good. Again, I'm replacing this with rubber hosing. Superb detail. And this one has a stack of four, so there isn't a ton of parts. This flatbed should go together quite quickly. Even when I come to build it, I'm going to build both of them at the same time. So. I will do a build video on it. I'll try and do a build video on everything I do build. Um, but again, it should, should go together quite quickly because it's not, not a ton of parts. So there's four stacks of these. Again, nice way they've done it with the uh, supports at the side. So here's the side, one of the side rails. So imagine two, another one of these going along here. This section is all one piece. Here's part of the bogey system. your brakes, your wheels, axles, these are those support arms on the side if you're having them on the side like I mentioned you can turn it into a logging trailer type some parts so here's the detail on the leaf springs side of the axle, axle, wheels, brakes, pretty basic, there is a seam line to take care of on the brakes, that's easy, easy done, on uh, most parts there's a seam line, easy, a couple of swipes, support brackets, and these are support brackets, 
and there's those arms and nicely done so there's four of those and the last two parts are track assembly again it's got a locking system so you've got your sleepers so if you want the track to be on a curve you just cut in this notch and then the track will curve again nice wood grain texture the actual rail itself and attachment points and that's it there isn't a ton of parts so there you are folks there's another kit 135 scale from T models it's their flatbed 80 ton one thing I did notice uh, on the back of the box it was some CAD drawings just like uh, a bit like Dragon and I didn't really notice this until too earlier so it gives you a rough idea of what it can potentially look like and attachment points of attaching up some of their other trailers they ha may have and there's the track design so, so there you are guys like comment subscribe and I'll catch you later